Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my first uh, uh, LEGO 2021 review, and this switch is on the Star Wars The Mandalorian Trouble on Tatooine, that is as of now being released, of course. So um, from the box here, you see the LEGO Star Wars logos, and that border that we've seen since 2019, but also with the Mandalorian picture there, just like we've seen on the Razor Crest and all. See a picture of everything going on and all the minifigs included and Disney logo and age recommendation is seven and up. Sent number seven five two nine nine has two hundred seventy six pieces. And on the back you see a, another picture of everything and the features of it and yeah. and onto the instruction manual, which kind of large for this set, but whatever. Probably make it more interesting or whatever. Then same picture as on from the box and everything. But what's kind of weird is it has the white with minifig Darth Vader border, but on the box, which has the uh, Mandalorian border. To it, which I kind of don't understand why, but whatever. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set and all minifigs included in this current wave. And then after some of the other uh, winter 2021 sets, of course, and the last steps. And so now, first of which, the whips. So the first main thing up is the Mandalorian himself, or just the Mandalorian, of course. The whips. So as you see, the main rifle, which same as since the ATST Raider set two years ago, and, and as for this, which in his best car armor, and of course, but also this, which cheapest set that he's ever came in, and of course, and and of course this best car armor version, so all dark brown and so neat silver printing and side arm so uh, printing, of oh, which quite cool and. With the uh, Mandalorian insignia kind of printed in there as well. And you have the gas pump uh, gun piece, just like Django Fett kind of had. And also some more of that with the uh, dark thing, of course. And the helmet, which also the same as it's been, but in a brighter silver color. And underneath that, this plain black head. Lego, no need to use the plain black head for the Mandalorian, because if you've seen all of the show, then he does do a couple of face reveals. So there is, so you can do that now. But in the cape of which, same as the other versions, and underneath, so you get some slight back torso print, which although could have had one of them uh, uh, clip things to put the rifle on, of course. And next to it is the child, or as we all now know as Grogu, if you're if you've seen all of season two, of course. It's the same as from the Razor Crest and the Child Build the Character set, but although I think he should have a thick collar shirt or thick coat collar, because in the show he usually does, of course. And last of which is the Tuscan Raider. As well, the torso print like prints, same as from the uh, from one of last year's uh, micro fire sets, but headpiece, same as it's been since 2015. So, and, and back torso print, also the same, and of course, same build of the gaffy stick as the 2015 uh, Skyhopper set did. So, not much to go over for that, but although I what Ian's many wish this set could also have included a a cop van since he is in the scene of course and first of which is Mandalorian's speeder bike and which kind of similar to most other speeder bikes but with some odd different thing added to it like the front part which which does have the like corner bracketed pieces and those special pieces on the front of course 
and then further on a pair of uh, pin poles there. Then you have that new uh, corner in kind of piece like we've seen on last year's uh, 501st Troopers set. And he has some quite good rebling to it, like one of those new rounded topper pieces like we've kind of seen in the like a movie 2 line. And on the other side, same kind of thing, but with one of those odd handed pieces. He's on the, on the top part, which uh, also a good amount of space to fit your Mando mini fig on to, which attached to just those two studs, of course. And from the on the back part, which we of course have a traditional backpack piece and a baby carrier piece for your Grogu mini fig, of course, does fit in well. Of course. And of course, like a couple of previous year bikes, smalls and packs a little bit of punch to it. And next to which is this bowcat or whatever. Do you like some quite impressive uh, techniques used with those like uh, curved in pieces? Whoops. But a uh, spring of a launcher missile piece, but in silver. Oh, it's pretty neat. Quite neat for mocking. And, so, and as you see, does have a couple of those long rodish pieces acting as the uh, rope part of the bone part. And also a couple of whoops, pair of those odd pieces there just for show, just not which are supposed to have it pulled back and all, but but it's just for show. You know. And also a couple of dish pieces used for a front wheel. But also they're just for show. And also see oops. Also if you notice translucent a uh, clear brick underneath it. But although I think it does stand just fine without it. Oh, you can kind of not have it if you want, but whatever. Also, you get a couple of dish pieces for that. So, also, like the speeder bike, is a good small build, of course. And lastly, is this little uh, Tuscan Raider outpost kind of tent thing. So, as you see, which does have a couple of those large rounded pieces is with a mini campfire onto it and and also a little pot with a bone on it and if you look from the back part of which uh, there's kind of a lot of repeats of both these plates and tiles of course and also you get, you get that little thing above one of these probably just as something to hold them all together but Again, just for show. And also folds out and all. Kind of like the uh, SpongeBob's Pineapple sets. Same with like Yoda Haggard's Hunts, of course. What, since they're all on hinges and are all have these uh, corner bracket pieces. And also another uh, dish piece, probably acting as a plate for it. And also a random uh, jumper piece in the back, of course. And so, and with it folded up. Although I would have liked it to be kind of more fully closed in, but would have bumped the price up a little bit. And of course, enough space to put your Tuscan Raider anything on it. Good for any Tatooine mocks, of course. And so, so now on to with the final verdict. Overall, this I think a quite cool set for 
like for its small uh, price range, you do get plenty of good stuff to it, like exclusive version of The Mandalorian, and also three little builds. So it's kind of like, reminds me of some older sets where it comes with an iconic character and multiple small builds, of course. So, and also, of course, first time of getting Mando in his Baskar armor, which I hope they do more often in the future. And also, what I think is should have included an, the other uh, speeder, or that along with Cobb Van, since he is, of course, present on Talk to Me, and of course, this is the first one for season two. When, and I hope they do some more for both seasons, of course. And also do get the Spring Hill Launcher piece in silver, which is nice for mocking, you know, and yeah. It, so if you are looking at so, so if this set's available where you are, well, definitely pick it up. And if you want to continue your Mandalorian collection, also definitely pick it up. And that is it for this video, and thanks for watching.